Do it right now. Predict the Raiders record in 2022 because coming up here on today's show, I am going to be going through the entire Raiders official schedule for this upcoming season. So let me know your thoughts. What's the Raiders record going to be this season? Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report. Mitchell Renz here from Chat Sports, and we're going to walk through all 17 games, all 18 weeks of the Las Vegas Raiders official 2022 schedule. And we're going to go basically from like a four game, and we're going to go to the next four games, and I'll tell you about some key games as well. And there's one game that I definitely have circled here. So essentially, the Raiders start with a road game up against the Chargers then you got your home opener up against the Arizona Cardinals on the road again up against the Titans and then week four you are home against the Denver Donkeys finally the Raiders get a primetime game only two primetime games this year Monday night football in Arrowhead and when I go back and I think of a lot of the games that happened last season, a little bit disappointed in how they played against the Chiefs. I can't wait to watch this Monday night football game. Week six by, a little early for my personal liking. Week seven against the Titans. Week eight on the road in New Orleans. That always is a rocking and rolling environment. Week nine up against the Jags. Then when you got week 10 against the Indianapolis Colts. Matt Ryan, new QB there. Week 11 on the road in Mile High. Russell Wilson. Week 12. Russell Wilson's old team, the Seattle Seahawks. Then week 13, you're home against the Chargers on the road against the Rams. I, mean, I still might make the argument that the Raiders are going to have more fans there up against the defending Super Bowl champs than L.A. actually does. Here's the other Raiders primetime game. Week 15 against the New England Patriots. This one on Sunday Night Football. A lot of people are going to be watching this one for obvious reasons. Week 16 on the road then up against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Then Home against the 49ers, and then you round out your season. Big game, week 18 versus the Chiefs. So, y'all, I don't know about what you guys think of the channel. I think we do a pretty nice job here. And we are a nice amount of subscribers away from hitting 114 thousand subs if you love the Raiders if you bleed silver and black and if you want to know more about this team than all your friends your family and literally everyone else then hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications I'm trying to get to 114,000 subs the reason why you should subscribe and the reason why we are the number one most watched Raiders channel on YouTube. The reason why Devontae Adams mentioned us is because we do videos every single day. I have dropped a video on this channel every day for the past three years. We go live at least once a week, Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific. We're an interactive channel, so shout out to Raider or Untouchable Raider 1960. Probably the first one to comment on this thing. More subs equals more videos, and it's 100% free. So now what we're going to do here on today's show is I'm going to go through and give you that extra analysis on at least one game that I'm going to pick out here. Obviously, you want to start the season off right, winning week one at the Chargers. But the reason why I'm going to bring up here week two versus the Cardinals is because very, very important. The Cardinals will not have their star wide receiver, DeAndre Hopkins. He was suspended for six games, I believe, because of PEDs. Either six or eight, regardless. He's, he's not going to be there for week two. So the fact that Kyler Murray isn't going to have his main option Probably the second best wide receiver next to Devontae Adams in the entire league. That is a major win for the silver and black. Let's now go to the Titans here week three. The Broncos, Russell Wilson. The Broncos got seven primetime games. Seven. That's a joke, man. All right, well, what about from weeks five through eight here? The Raiders got a big time bye, which they will need. The most important game here, right? Texans, of course. No, I'm kidding. The most important game here is this one. And this is really, I think, where you're going to be able to see how the Raiders stack up against the Chiefs, the defending AFC West champs. And I hate this team more than just about any team out there. I want to see how they look without Tyreek Hill. But not only that, if you can go into Arrowhead, like the Raiders did two seasons ago, and you can come away with a win, there's no, like, you can do that. You are a Super Bowl caliber team. And every single season, that's what you try to do. You don't try to make the playoffs. You try to win a Super Bowl. So out of all the teams in our division, and yes, I put the Fs in there because I hate them all, right? So Kansas City Chiefs, the Denver Donkeys, the Los Angeles Chargers, which team do you hate the most? If it's the Chiefs, 
type FKC. If it's the Broncos, type FDEN. If it's the Chargers, type FLAC. If you hate all of them as much as I do, then put one comment as FKC, another comment as FDEN, and another comment as FKC. L-A-C. Well, if you want to go ahead and bet on every single Raiders game this upcoming season with our sportsbook partner, BetUS, it is the best place in the entire world to put your money where your mouth is. So how do you do it? You got to use this link below. You see it right here? It's chatsports.com slash Raiders. It's pretty easy to remember. So if you don't go to this link, you ain't getting 125% deposit bonus. What does that mean, Mitch? It means if you put down $100, you get $125 for free to bet with. In fact, you can actually put up to $500 down and you're going to get $625 for free to bet with. And if this doesn't piss you off at least a little bit, personally, I kind of like it because I like when the Raiders are underdogs. I like when people doubt this team and keep on doubting them because when their backs are up against the walls, they showed me last season, they've shown me in years past that they are play, play better when they're the underdog. So plus 550 odds. Go to chatsports.com slash Raiders, promo code Raiders125, and go put some money down on the silver and black to win this division. Let's keep it going here with our schedule release on the Raiders report. Week 9 against the Jags, Week 10 versus the Colts, Broncos, Seahawks. The game that I want to pay really close attention to here is, is the Indianapolis Colts game because this is going to be a tight race, not just in the AFC West, but in the AFC in general. There are like, I'm not kidding you, like 11 legit playoff caliber teams here. And this could be one of those games where you go back and you look at the end of the season and it's circled. You're like, you know what? The winner of this game could ultimately decide a playoff spot. So Indy, you know they have a great running game. You know that they just went ahead and they also brought in Matt Ryan to be the quarterback. They also have Gus Bradley, the Raiders old DC. And on top of that, I know Yannick Gakwe is going to be really excited. And I have a lot of respect for Gakwe. But I hope the Raiders punch this Colts team right in the freaking mouth. Let's go to week 13, 14, and 15. A lot of people are like, this This was probably the hardest slate of games where I had to choose from. Right? You're going up against the Chargers, that's a big game. The defending Super Bowl champs at their own, at their own field, that's the one you're going to talk about, right? No. I, I'm going to talk about the one where the Raiders go ahead, you get Josh McDaniels, you get Dave Ziegler, you bring essentially the entire Patriots staff and you're just bringing them on over with you and now they're sitting here chilling in Allegiant Stadium this is going to be a monumental game and another game where we could go back and look when you're talking about the final week the final two weeks of the season the winner of this game could absolutely positively decide who ends up making the playoffs the final three games here you got on the road up against Pittsburgh last season the Raiders won 25-17 this time, you got a new quarterback there with Mitch Trubisky, or is it going to be Kenny Pickett? It's definitely a different team. They're going to try to run the football a lot. Week 17 up against the 49ers. Week 18 is up against the Chiefs. Since I've already talked about the Chiefs, this is the one, man. It's it, it's this one here, the 49ers game. 49ers, they finished uh, right. They lost in the NFC Championship game to the Los Angeles Rams. Yes, this one is not an AFC matchup. But let's be real, y'all. The amount of stupid billboards that the Raiders left the Bay and all these other things that are coming up with, you can, I, I wish the Raiders were still in Oakland. Of course I do. But you know what? Las Vegas has done a lot of really good things for this organization, and it's a really good spot for some of these other players wanting to go to. So not only that, it's on January 1st. I want to start off 2023 with a big old win up against the 49ers who... You know, I put them right up with the freaking Chargers, the Chiefs, and the Broncos are teams that I hate the most. So let me know down in the comments right now who you got. Type LV for the Las Vegas Raiders, or I want you to go ahead and type SF for the 49ers. If I see any SFs, if you see any SFs, what I want you to do is reply to that comment, tell them to go F themselves, and go ahead and spam LV. So we're going to roll through these one more time here if you guys want. Take a screenshot. Post it on social media. Remember, you can always hit me up on Instagram. You can always hit me up on Twitter. I'm at MitchellRents365. If you know anybody that wants to do watch parties during the regular season, if you know anybody that wants to have the Raiders report, come out to a bar, a restaurant, or whatever event that you're trying to run, let me know because I would love to be able to get out there. And I will be live 
for every single one of the games that you just saw here on the Raiders Report. We try to bring the fun. We try to bring that tailgate mentality. So if you miss the Oakland tailgates, if you want to see what a Las Vegas tailgate's kind of like, then go ahead, subscribe to the Raiders Report, and join us for every single game this upcoming season. So the video that I have coming out tomorrow is going to be my Raiders record, record prediction. I'm going to go through all 17 games, give you the score predictions on each one, and tell you what I think the Raiders' record is going to be. And I predicted the Raiders go 10-7 and last season. They're making the playoffs. So I'm going to pat myself on the back for that. If you're curious of what my prediction is for tomorrow, then you got to go ahead and tune in. But for now, let me know your Raiders' record prediction for 2022.